Hey guys, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a quick update on the punch hole display for the Samsung smartphones. Now, this here is a Samsung Galaxy A8s. Uh, this is the first smartphone in the world to have a hole display, the first Samsung smartphone that is. And of course, this is something similar that we're going to get on the Samsung Galaxy S10 and the S10 Plus. Now, on this phone, the hole is on the left side, on the S10 and the S10 Plus, it's going to be on the right side. It's going to be a little bit smaller and a little bit more refined. And also, this is not an OLED display. This is an LCD display. So that's going to make a bit of a difference. But anyway, in this video, I'm going to give you a quick update on how it feels like to watch a movie full screen on this hole punch display. Now, in my previous videos, I actually did that, but I forgot to mention something. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about so you guys get a good sensation of the full picture. Now, first and foremost, if you have not seen my previous videos, I'll drop a link down below. But basically, this is the hole here. And when you go to the settings, uh, when you just browse around the phone, the hole just stays here on the side. It's very much less intrusive than a notch that drips down from the top of the display. Now, here's an iPhone as an example right next to it. And as you can see, the hole definitely is less bothersome uh, than the notch, at least in my opinion, but you can let me know what you think down in the comments below. Anyway, let me just uh, go back into that video thing I was talking about. But again, just in case anybody's wondering, you know, when you launch the applications, the hole is there, but it's not going to uh, be as intrusive as some people think it was. All right, so let's move on to the video. Now, before we dive in, if you do own a smartphone, make sure to hit that subscribe button to subscribe to Saki Tech. And of course, make sure to click that notifications bell icon as well to make sure you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. So previously, when I went to the YouTube application, just an ex as, as an example, uh, when I launch YouTube and when I play a video full screen, let me just kill the volume to make sure it doesn't interfere, okay? So let's uh, play that video. This is the full screen view that you are going to see when you play a video on the smartphone. Now, when you uh, zoom to fill the screen by doing that gesture, that's what was happening. The hole was still there, but we were adding a black bar over here uh, to hide this area, by which I wasn't so pleased. But I co I've come to realize now there's an actually actual setting in the settings that allows you to make sure that the thing goes, goes uh, fills the entire screen and the hole is in fact visible. So let me do that right now. Let me just uh, go back here in the video a little bit. So right now, as you can see, we do have a black bar that I'm not a fan of. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the settings. Let's just go home here, X this out, go to the settings, go into display, and then you can go to full screen apps. And from here, you can actually hide the camera in the portrait orientation if you so desire. We're not going to do that right now. I'm going to show you the YouTube application real quick. So if I scroll down to YouTube, I can actually uh, set, uh, it should be right here, it to go to full screen. So now when I go back into uh, YouTube, let's go back into it, uh, that exact same video, tap on play, you're gonna see that this time when I go full screen, the whole displays on the side right here. And again, uh, compared to the notch, this is so much better. It is so much less in in intrusive. And again, this is a Samsung Galaxy A8s. So it's not even uh, the Samsung Galaxy S10 or the S10 Plus which is going to have a more refined circle here. It's going to be a little bit smaller, except for the S10 Plus, which is going to be pill-shaped, uh, but it does not look as bad as the notch. With the notch, uh, the whole thing cuts into the display uh, from the side over here. This seems to be on the side at the bottom. Uh, uh, takes away less of the immersion of the full screen video. Now, in my opinion, this is much more preferable uh, to the uh, notch display but I want you guys to let me uh, know down below what you think about that as well. And just for the sake of comparison, let me grab the iPhone, put it right next to it, uh, put it on the screen here and show you how that looks as well. All right, so here's the iPhone and that is the notch display. So you guys let me know what you think, uh, which one is in fact better looking. Uh, I think in my opinion, the circle is much better. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you parts of the other video where I actually compared the iPhone and this punch hole display on the Samsung A8 side by side in a gaming setup. So let me play that as well, just in case so you can, you, you can see how it looks when you're playing an actual game 
on both of these smartphones side by side, notch versus the hole. All right, so here we have the same game. Both games are filling the entire screen, which is fantastic. But again, now we're getting a much better look at how these uh, phones are gonna look with a hole in the display. Uh, here's the notch biting into the display from the side. Here's the hole biting into the display uh, on the side. Okay, much smaller area that interferes with the total immersion of the smartphone. So let's just click play. And of course the iPhone is gonna be faster. This is the iPhone XS Max. Uh, so this is a mid-range phone, this is a high-end phone, so don't think this is a speed test. Let's just click play here and here, uh, see what happens. All right, so far we're seeing the hole here uh, and the notch over here. All right, so that's the introductory uh, movie on both of the smartphones. We, we, I, let's see if I can skip this, can't skip it. All right, so the game has started to play on the iPhone on the top. Again, you can see them side by side. Uh, same thing over here, side by side. Uh, let's just tap that, tap that. Touch, drive, control. Okay, so tap on drift. That's great. You can see both of these uh, games playing side by side, which is what I wanted to show you guys. All right. Let's tap the nitros. There we go. Okay, just take a look at them side by side. Let's tap on that. All right, absolutely fantastic. More nitrous right here. So you let me know which one you think is looking better right now uh, in this interface. Let's tap this, tap this. Oh, swipe, swipe. All right. So there we go, exact, exactly the same screen. All right, absolutely fantastic. Uh, again, I'm preferring this one. Of course, the quality of the screen is better here and the graphics are better here because that is the iPhone XS Max. But the intrusion wise, uh, the notch is worse than the hole at the bottom. And again, on the S10 and the S10 Plus, let me just swipe over, uh, the holes are going to be on this side over here. So that's going to be a minor difference. Just go to the notifications over here. Uh, let's go to notifications over here. Okay, so the uh, hole doesn't uh, seem to be on top of any text, which is great. Uh, now let's go back out here. Let me just launch the phone application. Again, the hole is on the top and things are kind of downward, shifted downwards, so it doesn't get in the way. And if I was to launch this one over here, uh, again, the notch is designed in such a way that it doesn't interfere with any text, okay? But again, in my opinion, I am liking the fact that this is less intrusive on the screen, on the display, than this guy, which is going to be more apparent when you watch movies and uh, play games. Okay, so let's go out here. Let me go to the messages. Again, that's what we have. Over here, we got the messages right over here. Okay, and if I go to the music application, that's what it looks like. Uh, this is more familiar to us, but this is something new. Uh, so that's that. And one last thing here I'm going to show you really quickly. I did show you an option that, uh, in, in, in a couple minutes ago where you can hide the hole. So let's see how that looks real quick. So if you go to the settings, uh, if I go into the display, and if I go to full screen apps, and if I tap on uh, hide camera, that actually does the same trick that we do on the notches, whereas you can actually hide the hole on the top here. And that's exactly what it's going to look like. And again, this is not an OLED display, so the blacks are not as deep as an OLED display. This is an IPS LCD 1080p display. But again, if you want to hide the hole, that's what you're getting, uh, which is not very good because it is putting a big black bar on the top that is completely uneven compared to this guy. I personally prefer having the hole because like I said, it is not as bad as the notch dripping from the top, cutting into the display. It's just a hole on the side, okay? Now, of course, just like everybody else on the planet, I would prefer no notches, no holes, a complete full screen display, but that's also coming. And of course, we do have that on some of the other phones out there, but if you're looking for a Samsung smartphone to have that, it is a work in progress. It will be with us very soon, okay? Very soon, they'll be able to hide uh, the camera uh, equipment under the display, so the display is going to be extremely, uh, completely full screen. Anyway, let, let's disable this really quickly. There we go. All right, so perfect.
And of course, that brings us to the end of this video. Uh, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech for more videos to come. And of course, for now, have a fantastic day. And of course, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, follow me on all at Saki Tech Online.